Let's check in on the U.S. auto industry. It is showing signs of cooling down. After two years of record high sales, demand is starting to temper. And that could impact U.S. President Donald Trump's goal to keep the industry in the fast lane. Here's Karina Huber with more. Car and truck sales in the U.S. hit record highs in 2016, with more than 17.5 million vehicles sold. But it appears the boom has hit the brakes. Major automakers have reported four months of consecutive U.S. sales declines. According to Autodata, in April, sales were down 7.1 percent at Ford. Fiat Chrysler saw a drop of 6.9 percent, and at GM, they were down 5.9 percent. Experts say sales are cooling for a variety of reasons. The economy is not growing at a rapid rate. It's still moving forward, but it's not growing at a faster pace. And I think the pent-up demand for people who waited during the Great Recession to buy a vehicle, most of that pent-up demand has started to soften as well. Plant closures aren't expected, but production cuts are imminent. So we're seeing one or two week down periods of a variety of plants, much more on the car side than on the truck side, and more in Canada and the U.S. than in Mexico. Shutting down production for a few weeks in the summer months is standard practice. But in recent years, automakers kept the plants open to keep up with booming demand. With weaker sales, they are now scheduled to close again. This doesn't bode well for President Trump, who wants to see an increase in U.S. production and recently took credit for Ford's decision to shy away from opening a new plant in Mexico. I don't believe it was pressure from President Trump to stop the Mexican plant. I do believe it was uh, you know, not needing the extra production capacity is what caused it. Trump wants automakers to open more facilities in the U.S., but experts say that's unlikely in the near future. They say those decisions are driven by economic factors, not politicians. Balancing production and, and the demand means using some short-term levers while you have to keep plants open, but then taking adjustments like taking plants down. There really isn't a political calculus involved. It's much more of a, you know, what do we need to do and how can we make this run as efficiently as possible. Wakefield expects the downward sales trend to continue into 2019, which is bad news for U.S. auto workers. But on the bright side for U.S. consumers, now is as good a time as ever to get a deal on a set of wheels. Corinna Huber, CGTN, New York.